what's up y'all okay it is the next day it is thursday the thursday of my summer vacation with the kids i am not able to go anywhere with the kids right now because we have one car so i will start we will be starting our vacation on friday saturday and sunday it's going to be a whole weekend thing and so i'll share that with y'all in another vlog but for those of you who think like you're on vacation why are you doing all this it's because i don't have any other time i don't have any other time i have to work in pockets of time and i have to choose wisely every second every minute of my day i don't normally i mean i don't there's a lot of times where i waste time and so what i told my husband yesterday is i cannot waste these days that i'm off that's the way i feel because um, I know that this is time that I don't normally get. So on tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'll be resting. I'll be resting, I'll be relaxing, I will be just in pure bliss. But the focus for the days that I don't have my car and don't have transportation, I'm going to utilize them to be able to tackle things that stress me out. So that moving forward after vacation, I'm relieved and redeemed from all the stress. I don't have to face it anymore. It's done and done and my life will be changed. So that's the goal. Okay, so yesterday I was like, oh, I'm going to get this whole thing done. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so hopeful, but it got so hot. And so today I tried to start a little bit earlier, which I did. A little bit earlier today so um, I'm gonna show you what I got done but I want to share with you how I feel my neck hurts my back hurts yesterday my legs were hurting last night I, I could barely walk um, and I know a lot of that is because I am constantly sitting when I work um, I'm up on my feet right now and so that's part of it the other part is i live in texas and it's really really hot it's the summer <laughs> um so i have the garage closed right now but i'm gonna open it here in a little bit i just want to have some privacy for the first hour and then i'll open it and get some fresh air in so let me go ahead and show you oh but emotionally i feel like i made a dent and it gives me peace it gives me relief um, it's still not enough. I feel like there's still a lot more to do, but I am grateful and I am so happy to see this, which I'll show you here in a minute, completely empty. And it makes me so happy and thankful and it makes me like feel motivated to keep going, to not give up. There's so much to do and I just feel like that was so tedious because it's, it's pictures and papers very very tedious sorry i need to get some energy it's very very tedious job and so the rest of the garage is not like that maybe my crafts might be a little bit but i'm just praying that the lord give me discernment in jesus name and help me to make these decisions on what to keep and what to let go of so with that being said let me go ahead and show you the empty space which i'm so i'm just like Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because it's a weight off my shoulders. So I'm going to move the picture. I'm going to show you the empty space. I'm going to show you the empty space. I'm going to show you the boxes that I have made for the kids. Then I'm going to put them in a separate place, a different place, because I need the area that I worked on for the pictures and the kids memories i need it clear so that i can pull down all of this which is my um decorations holiday decorations camping stuff and um i have a lot of trophies that i think i'm going to put on top of the refrigerator until i get a shelf the way i want it over there on that side so with that being said let me go ahead and let's get into the rest of this video <laughs> Okay, so this is the space, if you remember, it had totes all the way about right here. Sorry, my hands are really dry. It had totes about right here. But now it is clean and clear, and thank you so much, Lord. I am so grateful. Literally, 
I feel gratitude in my heart. So this is the part that I said was really, really tedious, which is why I spent all day doing it. Um, but it was something that I've been wanting to get done for years. So what I did yesterday was something that I had not been able to do for years. So if you can imagine the accomplishment that I feel is just out of this world. I am so grateful. When I bought these, I had the intentions to do this, but then I was volunteering to clean other people's homes and I was going to utilize it for that, but that never worked out. So I was able to my first my first desire for these boxes, I was able to get it done. So let me go ahead and show you. This is an empty box. Um, I have Easter stuff here. I know it looks chaotic, but trust me, there's meaning to the madness. I know where everything, well, for the most part. Okay, so this is Easter stuff. That is going to be Christmas stuff. This is something I need to put in my daughter's box. It's memories of hers. So these are my pictures and any pictures of family or my kids that where they're all together. I the only pictures that my kids have in their okay, so let me yeah. So I started off separating the kids school stuff. All their elementary memories and school memories are in one box and then their pictures are in another. And so that's what the kids have. They all have their own memory box and then they all have their own picture box and in, in a tote. So like this is one for one of my daughters. This is actually mine. Um, and then this is another child. That's another child. And that's a, that's trash. Um, and then over here we have another child. So they all have a box for their school memories and then a box for their pictures, which I know you see pictures out here, but I have to open their box and put them back in there because I was just kind of like here, here. As I was going through the pictures, I was just dropping them in their box. So the idea today is to finish this up, which is not going to take that long. I'm about to put some real good bumping music so I can get in the groove and just kind of go. Um, so the, so the idea was that each box that they have their own pictures, it's only picture, it's pictures that, that are just them or them with someone else, but not with each other, not siblings. The sibling pictures are here. And the reason I did that is because I want them to be able to have their own pictures. Like... <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> I want them to be able to have their own box of pictures, but the ones that I have for all of them together, the plan is at another time to make copies of those, whoever's in that picture, and give them each their own copy of, say, for instance, let's see. Let's see if I can find an example. I also have like old family pictures that I want to um, do something with. Let me see if I can find an example. Let's see. So for instance, this one, this picture. This picture has two of my daughters. So what I'm going to do is take a picture, I mean, take a copy of this, make two copies, one for me, one for this daughter, and one for this daughter. So they can have a copy of this of their own. That's the idea and that's the plan. That's something that's going to be done at a later time, but at least I'll know I'll have them all in one space and I can do that once um, time and finances allow. But I also plan to do that for my family. So for my family, let's see. So for this one, I have a niece in this one and... The plan is to take make three copies, one for my niece, one for this daughter, and one for this daughter. And the same thing goes for any family pictures that I have like this. I have sisters in here. So I have sisters and a niece and two nieces in here. So I, what I'm going to do is make copies for each sister, each niece, and each daughter so that everybody can have a copy and um yeah that's the plan i know it's going to get a little you know it may get pricey so i'll do it in increments but 
you know, I just, I'll space it out, but I really, I love to have memories and I want to be able to give these memories to, to everyone. So that's the plan. But right now the plan is to, sorry, right now the plan is to finish up all of this. So you see very organized in their own box. Now I will say this for Christmas, I'm going to give them each their box for Christmas. They are going to receive these as a Christmas gift and it's something that's going to be theirs. They can do whatever they want with it, but I want them to have it so that, um, you know, that it's, I have my own box. I have my own stuff from when my, when I was little, my, my parents gave to me. And so I feel like now they're adults, they can take their memories and they can um, hold on to them. So that's the plan. And I still have to finish going through this box. I have some more boxes that I need to go through that have memories, but that's the plan to start out for today. So let me go ahead and get into this. Y'all, I'm just going to give y'all a quick little overview of what I'm working with. These boxes down here on the ground are what um, I'm filling up with my kids' things and my things' memories. I also utilize these pink ones. Um, I had already moved everything of theirs into those boxes. Um, and now I'm just kind of like going through to show you what the garage looks like. But I wanted to say that there has been a process. So this is just part of the process of getting my garage decluttered and organized to a very healthy, mentally healthy place. So I hope that you've been enjoying these videos um, and these episodes of Decluttering My Garage. I know that it seems very redundant because I'm having to, it's just a lot. I have a lot of possessions um, and going through all of it is very time consuming. So I wanted to do this in these separate videos because I wanted to, I wanted reality um, to really be reflectant in my videos because I don't want you to think that wow she did that so fast no it's work it's some hard work and dedicated hours and um trust me when I say it is so worth it it is so worth it it is 10 14 Thursday night tomorrow's Friday tomorrow's supposed to be all my dedicated time to my grandson and my son and daughter relaxing I did not get to finish I wanted to finish today but my body is sore I'm thirsty it's hot um, and I'm tired in order to have energy for the family tomorrow I'm gonna shut this down I am so grateful for what I was able to get done I got a lot done I'm sorry I did not get to film all of it just because it was so tedious <laughs> I went through it almost every container there's a few that i didn't get to go through um but i'm gonna leave those for after summer's over i'm not even gonna touch those i think they're all camping stuff um stuff we don't use anymore so i'll probably put that on facebook market but what i got done today i'm completely satisfied i went through all of the kids memories um actually found another box of more memories um, I have a lot of party and craft stuff that I'm just gonna do away with. I don't want that stuff anymore. Um, I have, that's what I had in this pink stuff right here. So I don't know what I'm gonna put, use those for. I'm gonna pray about it and hopefully something will come to mind. But I still would like to utilize those. Maybe I'll use them for a closet, for towels or something. I don't know, but... With that being said, I will pick back up, hopefully, Lord willing, early tomorrow morning to finish up this garage. Um, the last that I have to go through is stuff on this table and stuff on the floor. I'm going to put that recliner for Facebook Market for sale. I have a lot of pictures I've took, the stuff that I'm going to put on Facebook Market for sale. So I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to go to the... Um, living room and post all that stuff on Facebook market and then I'm gonna get out a video that I have 
it's already ready I just need a thumbnail for it so I'm gonna work on that put it out and um, see how far I get tonight but yes a lot was done it's very hot it's the hottest time of the summer um, so I'm just at peace with what I got done but the transformation is coming along and I cannot wait to show you the end result I'm so grateful and thankful um, I have a lot of stuff in the house that I need to store furniture in the garage so I was trying to make space for that but um, shutting it down so I'll pick back up tomorrow I'm so tired <laughs> do a little run through this is literally all of my children's things all of their things that I'm going to make them take with them when they move out um, but yes that's all of their things <sighs> I'm putting this on Facebook Market for sale. I'm putting this for sale. That's paint that I've got to store inside. Um, this is stuff, just random stuff that I need to go through. This also stuff that I'm just getting rid of. Uh, these are empty except that reef. Um, this is all stuff that I've taken pictures of and posted on Facebook Market. Not the bike. Um and not this floral stuff i'm gonna post this on facebook market basically for pennies over here i have this bed that bed frame was over here i moved it but then i was like okay i want to record the rest of this cleanup so that y'all can get some kind of motivation seeing me do something so i'm leaving this for tomorrow and i will film all of this tomorrow but this is basically all my crafts and party stuff that i need to kind of sort through and um this as well so most of this stuff is going to be gone i'm not keeping any of this stuff except the um flower pots and the balloon blower that's the only thing that i'm most likely keeping in this mess this bed frame this is part of the bed frame and that's going over there i'm gonna reorganize my kit my grandkids toys putting this up on Facebook Market, putting that desk up on Facebook Market. This is going on Facebook Market. I want all of that gone um, so that I can eventually put this shelf right here. And yeah, that's what we're working with right now. I feel satisfied. Look at, I mean, it's just so much space. I know all of that is like, oh, but... I have faith that I'll find a way to store that somewhere where it's not ruined. Um, and I just can't wait for all of this to be gone. All of that's going to be gone. That, of course, is going to be gone. This is going to be here. All of this is going to be gone. This is going to be gone. This is going to be gone. And I would like to hang my bike up, get some hooks to hang my bike up right here. And um, I have two bed frames that I'm going to store right here, as well as a dresser. I believe I'm going to be storing in here also until we can sell it. But yes, it's going, it's minimizing. I'm basically just minimizing all, a lot of the things that we don't use. Um, and one thing I want to share is that I told my husband, I was like, you know, honey, yes, we, you know, I, I could work. For finances but there is so much that we don't use um, that we can just sell and make money there's so much money to be made with the things that we're not using and so and it's going to give us space it's going to free my mind give make me less stressed and so I'm excited about doing this declutter I really highly recommend doing a declutter on a quarterly basis if you can um, this is two years in the making of declutter and so just with the wedding moving in and then we had just life is just going so fast so this is two years worth of stuff that I have not gone through but it feels amazing it feels so good I am tired I am overwhelmed I am also um, exhausted but good things happen with hard work hard work is good for you it is not bad thing um, 
I'm going to reap the benefits of this, all the work that I've sewed into this declutter. Um, I'm going to reap the benefits with a peace of mind, with um, a little bit of change in our pockets, and also with just freedom from stuff, from stuff. So I hope this, in, I hope this encourages you. I hope this motivates you more than anything. I hope that it inspires you to start somewhere and just let go of things. Let it go. The Lord will bless you. He, I mean, give with a cheerful heart. If there's things that you don't want but you can give, you don't think you can sell, just give it away. God will bless you. He will see your heart and he will bless you. He has blessed me so much throughout my entire life and I have made it a habit to do this um, many, many times. Anyways, so, so sorry. It's just really, really hot. So I have this little bitty tank top, um, but I'm gonna let y'all go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy this and we'll pick back up tomorrow, Friday morning. Before I close this video, I wanted to share with y'all, these are all the things that I was able to declutter and purge out of my garage. It was a lot of things that we just did not really need. And I am so happy to share the results of the declutter. This is the stuff that I pushed out. And in my next video, you will see the grand finale of what my garage looks like once all of these things are pushed out and the garage is cleared up i cannot wait to share that with you i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching Bye.